focuses on petty corruption garbage instead of focusing on the big corruption, and that's a tool they use to give you the little stuff. And I know everybody knows that, but it's important to refocus on that. Let me give you first, though, the good news. And again, we already knew this because we tracked the Nielsen ratings, which MSNBC and others got caught years ago, paying to have Nielsen put out fake ratings for them. So you have to understand, these are fake numbers, okay? But it's still that facade for the business owners that put MSNBC and CNN on in their restaurants and bars or in the airports or in the government buildings. It's still the facade that, A, these are liberals when they are flaming fascist control freak demons, the worst of humanity, not fit to lead a, 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 a dead dog into a ditch. MSNBC loses another quarter of its viewers in the last year. And, 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 and then soon it's another quarter of that diminished amount. The, 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 listen, their biggest shows have half a million viewers. Ladies and gentlemen, talk about Emperor's New Clothes. I don't have to give you the numbers that Rush Limbaugh has over 10 million listeners a day, that Michael Savage has about 8, 9 million a day, that Sean Hannity has about 5, 6 million a day, that Glenn Beck has 5, 6, 7, 8 million a day, that I have 3 million a day, that Coast to Coast AM has about 9 million a day, 16 million a week. You go, why isn't every day that many? It builds up to, no, because a lot of people listen every day. The point is, and that's just terrestrial radio. We've got 500, 600, 700 million views on YouTube. We can't even count them all. Uh, we've got... Three million terrestrial listeners a day. A million people visiting the websites a day. Three million followers on our different Facebooks. I'm not bragging. I'm telling you, these people sit up there pontificating, and they have Ben Affleck on or whatever to sit there with his every movie comes out glorifying the CIA. It's a joke. I mention that because I just keep seeing the image of Ben Affleck in the article. You know, with that narcissistic, self-important look. You don't like the TSA groping you? Well, go to hell, he said, close quote. Turns out that guy only flies on private jets while making fun of groups that didn't want to be groped at the airport and go through naked body scanners. Hey, punk. You're a punk. You're sniveling, and I don't look at you. He's so stupid when you look in his eyes. I'm so sick of these nobodies being propped up over us. To, to, to sit there and, 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 and these nobody w joke actors that we're all supposed to fall down in front of and worship all day. I am totally sick of it. The Nielsen Media Research data that the biggest decline came in MSNBC, which lost nearly a quarter, 24% of its primetime audience, CNN under new management, ended its fourth year in third place with a 13% decline in prime time. In total, the combined viewership of all three major cable networks, Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, dropped 11% to its smallest audience since 2007. Not by coincidence, the disapproval rating of Lord Obama, for whom the likes of CNN, MSNBC have been dutiful water carriers in the midst of numerous scandals, hit a new record High this week of disapproval, 59% gallop, and that's a total whitewash. It's much worse than that. And it just goes on. Now, let me give you more good news here. And this one's really juicy. Southern Poverty Law Center, dailycaller.com, up on infowars.com. FBI severs ties with liberal domestic terrorism inspiring Southern Poverty Law Center. This is the group with the ADL that writes the... Minac reports, Mayak reports, Homeland Security reports, it's all written by them. It's even the same graphics, they admit that, about how the founders are bad and gun owners are bad and men are bad and borders are bad and, uh, you know, not wanting five-year-olds to learn how to, you know, put a condom on a banana is bad and Jocelyn Elders is going to save us and Alex Jones is evil and blah, blah, blah. And Morris Slee's heading it up and, you know, the same group that was running the Elohim City Command Center that, that federal uh, whistleblowers exposed and got arrested. I mean, they are a really dangerous group, ladies and gentlemen. They advise the police. They give police chiefs awards. The ADL does the same, basically the same organization, uh, just two different heads. And um, 
the FBI is now delisting them on their website and not and saying they're not a source for FBI agents because most of what they have on there is a fiction. They'll have some toothless grand dragon on there, you know, some cousin of Senator Byrd, Democrat, and then they'll put them next to Lou Dobbs and myself. It just, it just doesn't hold water. And the fact that the FBI is delisting them shows a major, major victory. And we're going to continue to hammer the ADL and Southern Poverty Law Center. I mean, the ADL got convicted and caught, and they've lost in civil court as well with police files and going after people for no reason and, 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 and tracking citizens domestically and, and secretly infiltrating police departments. And then they go around with these anti-gun initiatives and say you're anti-Semitic if you don't turn your guns in. I mean, it's just, it's total socialist garbage. Using race card to, to attack people. The Federal Bureau of Investigation revoked and removed its links to Southern Poverty Law Center from the Civil Rights Division website last week, breaking ties with the group that inspired a would-be mass shooter in a hate map attack. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Briefly, this hour is brought to you by a great storable foods company with incredible prices, great customer service. It's not just storable foods, though. They have a wide range of the best preparedness supplies out there. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex or 866-229-0927. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Uh, and also, folks, I've gotten nothing in the staff because this just came out yesterday and started shipping today. Nothing but rave reviews from Buckley Hammond, my cousin that's now come to work with us after working with me the first three years of launching InfoWars in 1995. In fact, he was involved in InfoWars before it existed in 1993-94 when I was first in college. He was in college. He's about six months younger than me. He was going to Southwest Texas, south of Austin, and he actually helped me uh, put out my first radio tapes and things and get some of my first jobs. And he's been working in TV and network news. So I finally twisted his arm into coming down here to Texas, back home to InfoWars. And of course, it was just his dad, my uncle, that died this year. And so he said it was time to come home and be closer to his mother back in Texas. So he's here with us. I don't know why I got off into that story. The point is, is to say he's part of the team again. And you notice his name on films like Masters of Terror, uh, the Bohemian Grove film. He's in the credits. You'll see his name on my first film, America's Way by Design. He shot the video on that in the nationwide trip. And helped me make that film. Uh, his name, of course, is uh, he did the music uh, and the editing and so much more in Road to Tyranny. Edited that in my uh, living room, in my living room office, in my little two-bedroom house. Uh, so uh, he's back home. Good to have him. He's just raving about this because he got back to Austin. The allergies hit him and nothing was working. Well, the new lung cleanse that we developed with Dr. Group is revolutionary. And it's basically essential oils. You spray it in your mouth and then inhale and it is off the charts, good. Nothing else is like it for me personally for allergies. And, and it's, I just call it basically a chemtrail detox. Lung cleanse, InfoWarsLife.com. And we have it. We have it available right now, ladies and gentlemen. So secure yours today and help fund the operation. It's got a whole bunch of organic ingredients in it. InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888 Two five three three one three nine eight 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 two five three three one three nine, and you can call and secure uh, the fluoride shield, the survival shield. That's incredible. Uh, of course, uh, the Super Metal Vitality, 15% off, still running that. We brought that special back because it was so popular. And we have the new super high powered, 30 parts per million um, silver bullet, uh, colloidal silver. It's all available, and that's how we fund the operation, so it's a win-win-win. It's super high-quality products and fund the tip of the spear in a savage, barbarian, full-on assault against tyranny. InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. I got tons of news coming up. Stay with us. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNLive.com today. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. 
Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.